Hey everyone, welcome to the Pep Coding. So in this video, I'll be covering the question print all palindromic substrings. So we are given a string and we have to print all the palindromic substrings of the given string. So let us see how we can do it. So let's take a string A, B, C, C, D, and C. This is a string of length 6. Indexing will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Right. So let us write the substring of the string. So for A, A, AB, ABC, ABCC, ABCCB, ABCCDC. Right. For B, it will be B. B C C C B C C B B C C B C for C it will be C C C C C B C C B C for this C it will be C C B C B C for B it will be B and BC and at last for C it will be single C right these all are the substring of this string but we want the palindromic substring so what is the palindrome see if I write N I T I N Nitin if I read the string from left to right and if I read the string from right to left and both are the same then it is a palindrome see if i read from left to right it will give me nitin and if i write if i read from right to left it will give me nitin so this is a palindrome so let's just see here the strings which are palindrome so a is palindrome these are not palindrome b is palindrome b c c b is palindrome C is palindrome, C C is palindrome, um, C is palindrome, C B C is palindrome, D is palindrome, and C is palindrome. So let's just write the uh, indexing of this. So if I write the substring zero comma one, right? Just change the color. Okay, zero comma one. So it will give me A. 0, 2 it will give me a b 0, 3 it will give me a b c because 0 is included and 3 is excluded so it will give me only a b c right similarly 0, 4 0, 5 0, 6 for this one it will start from 1 1 2 one three one four one five one six it will start from two two three two four two five and two six it will start from three three four three five three six for this one Four five, four six, and for this one, five comma. So here we can see that if I say this is i loop, i is constant. I is constant. It is changing here. I is zero here. I is one here. I is two here. Three here and four and five. So. We can analyze i is starting from 0 till string dot length minus 1. Right? 0 till 5. And if I say this is j, j is increasing. It is not constant. So j is starting from 1. Till 6. 
so j is starting from one that means if i say i plus one j is starting from i plus one so i plus one till string dot length so let's just quickly code this okay so firstly we have to apply the for loops of i and j so for int i i was starting from 0 i is less than string dot length right i plus the and the j loop for int j which was starting from i plus 1 i plus 1 j is less than equal to because it was going to the length so uh, str dot length right j is less than equal to str dot length and j plus plus so now we have to extract the substring so we'll write string ss is equal to str dot sub string ij right now we got all the substrings but we have to print only the palindromic substrings so for that we'll write a if condition if is palindrome We'll write the function is palindrome later in the video. First, we'll write the condition if it is a palindrome. So, if the substring is palindrome is equal to is equal to true. If it is true, we have to print the substring, right? So, system dot out dot print ln the substring, right? Now we have to write the is palindromic function. So let us create a function here. Public static. It will be of the type boolean. Boolean is palindrome. Okay. We'll pass the string here. String str. So for finding the palindrome, let us see how we can find it. Okay. So for a palindrome, let me just take a string. I, P, I, N. Right. Here is i and here is j. If i is equal to j, then we increment the pointer and we'll decrement the pointer j. We'll increment the pointer i and decrement the pointer j. And if these both are also equal, we'll again increment and decrement. And if i is equal to j, means i and j are at the same position now then it means it is a palindrome right so let's just quickly code this so we want two pointers i and j int i is equal to zero and int j will be at string dot length so str dot length minus one right it will be at the ending position so we'll apply a while loop if i is less than and equal to j then 
firstly we'll extract the characters at ith position and the jth position so for that we'll write char ch1 is equal to str dot char at i similarly for j char ch2 is equal to str dot char at j right now if both the characters are not equal then it is not a palindrome so we will return false so if ch1 is not equal to ch2 then we will return false right otherwise we have to increment the i and decrement the j right so else i plus plus and j minus minus and we have to return true here so let's just run this accepted okay let me just submit this correct answer so i hope i was clear with the concept thank you for watching the video hope you liked it and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you